Okay. Uh, this example, we will go through a body plot uh, for a particular transfer function. So here's the transfer function. H equals J omega divided by 1 plus J omega over 1000. So the goal is to create a body plot. Now, this is a simple enough example that we could do the body plot for the entire transfer function uh, on its own. But uh, let's follow uh, simple steps uh, so that if we get a larger transfer function, we can still apply this technique of trying to break a complex transfer function into multiple simpler transfer functions. What do I mean by breaking up a transfer function into multiple transfer functions? Okay, here it is. So h equals j omega divided by 1 plus j omega over 1000 can be broken into two separate transfer functions. One is j omega and the other one so that's one transfer function multiplied by 1 over 1 plus j omega over 1000 okay so here's one transfer function and here's a second transfer function so we'll call transfer function j omega h1 and we'll call transfer function 1 over 1 plus j omega over 1000 h2 as you get practice with body plot, you'll realize that this is a classic transfer function of a low pass filter. But for now, we don't need to know any of that detail. So, for, so all we know at this point is we've taken this complex transfer function H and broken it down into two transfer functions H1, which is J omega, and H2, which is 1 over 1 plus J omega over 1000. So, we want to do a body plot, so both a magnitude plot and a phase plot. A quick recap of body plot. A body plot is the plot of the magnitude dB, which is 20 log of the magnitude of the transfer function, right? So dB stands for the 20 log of the magnitude of the transfer function. And we're plotting frequency domain. Uh, the, we're plotting the frequency in radians per second in this case. In the log domain so what we have is 20 log in the y-axis 20 log of the magnitude of the transfer function that we want to plot and the x-axis is log of omega or the log of the frequency that we want okay so this is a logarithmic plot similarly the phase is basically a plot of the angle of the transfer function so here we are plotting the angle of the transfer function h in degrees in this case the phase angle and in this case we're plotting the log omega again omega in a log scale okay so this is what we want to do we want to plot the magnitude of h so now let's start out with h1 and h2 and we'll work with these separately so let's start with h1 h1 is equal to j omega well this is a very simple transfer function what is the magnitude of h1 it's simply omega right so the magnitude of h1 is simply omega well in order to do the body plot we need a 20 log of the magnitude so let's take the let's take 20 log of base 10 uh, not the natural log but log of base base 10 of both sides so if I take a 20 log uh, of h1 we get equal to 20 log of omega now remember what we were plotting in the body plot we were basically plotting 20 log of the magnitude versus log of omega so now let's go back and take a look at our transfer function we have 20 log of h1 20 log of h1 log of omega that's y equals the x-axis, that's the x-axis, and that is the slope. So the magnitude plot of h1 transfer function is simply a straight line with a slope of 20 in the dv scale. What is the angle of h1? Well, in this case, it's simple, right? H1 if I draw it on the real imaginary axis, here's my real axis, and here's my imaginary axis. If I draw this in the real imaginary axis, basically, my h1 
is j omega so the j axis is right here and the magnitude is omega so that is h1 what's the angle 90 degrees so the angle of h1 is simply 90 degrees so the magnitude plot is y equals mx so that was the y axis of the body magnitude plot here's the x axis of the body magnitude plot and all I have is a straight line with a slope of 20. So here's my magnitude plot. That's h1. If you look at this slope right here, that's one decade of frequency. That's one decade. And this 20 dB, so 20. So the slope of this line is 20 dB per decade. So that's the magnitude plot of h1. The angle plot is very simple. It's a straight line through 90 degrees. So that's angle. This is a plot for the angle of H1, a straight line through 90 degrees. So that was fairly simple. Now let's do H2. Okay, now let's talk about H2, which is this particular transform function. Take the magnitude of H2. Magnitude of 1 on the top is simply 1, and the bottom magnitude is P. So this is a complex number with a p plus jq so the magnitude of that is simply square root of p square plus q square so here's our magnitude of h2 let's take the 20 log of both sides when i take the 20 logs of both sides this is what i have now well this is log of a over b and we know log of a over b is equal to log of a minus log of b so log of a over b is 20 log of 1 that's the top numerator minus 20 log of the denominator instead of the square root we've written one half as the power now 20 log of 1 log of 1 is equal to 0 so that leads you to 0 log of e to the power n is equal to n log of a so log of a to the power n equals n n times log of a. So that's how we get this. So that's 0 minus 1 half times 20, which is negative 10. So minus 10 log base 10 of this inner quantity. So that is the 20 log of magnitude of h2 about the angle well the angle this is a phasor the top phasor the top phasor divided by a bottom phasor the top phasor is a real number so this angle is zero degrees the bottom phasor is imaginary number so the angle of the bottom part is arctangent of q which is the imaginary portion divided by p so in this case we have angle of the top portion is zero degrees since this is phasor divided by phasors the angle subtract so 0 degrees minus the arctangent of Q divided by P. There shouldn't be a J here. So which leads us to negative arctangent of omega over 1000. Well, so we have magnitude and the angle. And they're not as simple as the magnitude and angle of H1. So what do we do in this case? Well, let's create a table and keep track of what happens as we go and replace omega with different values well here's 1000 so let's start with omega equals 1000 and we're going to try and do approximate calculations so that we don't have to use a calculator at all times so let me use a different ink so when omega equals 1000 so let's put omega equals 1000 1000 divided by 1000 that's one one square is one one plus one is two well log 10 log base 10 of two well, I need a calculator to do that. So let's say, say, let's two is close to one. Because since we're dealing with a log scale, it's not that much of a difference. So log of two and log of one are somewhat similar. So log base 10 of one is equal to zero. So this whole thing becomes zero dB. Similarly, when we calculate the angle, let's replace omega equals 1000. So 1000 divided by 1000 is one. Arctangent of one, is 45 degrees we have a negative sign so that's minus 45 degrees okay 
So that's negative 45 degrees right there. Now let's go a decade before 1000. A decade basically means 1000 divided by 10. So if I have omega equals 100, omega is 100. 100 divided by 1000 is 1 tenth. Square that, I get 100th. 100th is a lot small compared to this number 1. So we'll just approximate this inner quantity as 1. Log 10 of 1 is again 0. So this whole thing approximates to 0 dB. Angle of H2. Omega is 100. 100 divided by 1000 is 1 tenth. Octangent of 1 tenth is close to 0 degrees. So we have 0 degrees there. Let's do a decade after this 1000. So 10,000. If I do 10,000, 10,000 divided by 100, 1000 is 100, uh, 10. Square that, I have 100. 1 compared to 100, well, let's just call this 100 because we're approximating anyway. Well, log base 10 of 100 means this quantity is equal to 2. 2 times minus 10, minus 20 dB. Let's calculate the angle. 10,000 divided by 1,000 is 10. Arctangent of 10 is equal to minus 90 degrees. Similarly, now if we go a decade before 100 and a decade after 10,000, we should be able to get, do the exact same calculation and, uh, and come up with this following table. So in this case now, these are the magnitude of H2 in dB and here's the angle of H2 in dB. So let's plot this in uh, in our magnitude uh, frequency plot. So here's H2. So that's H2. The black line is H1. Okay. H2 is 0 dB up until 1000 and then it falls at minus 20 dB per decade. For angle, based on our table, it was 0 degrees up until 100 negative 45 degrees at 1000, negative 90 degrees at 10,000. So it falls at negative 45 degrees per decade from 10,000 to, uh, sorry, 100 to 10,000. Now let's go back to H. H was a product of H1 and H2. If we take the magnitude of both sides and take the 20 log of that, using log rule, we get magnitude of H in the log domain is equal to 20 log of H1 plus the 20 log of H2. These are the two plots, magnitude plots we've already created for H1 and H2. Similarly for the angle, angle of H, since it's multiplication of phasors, is the sum of H1 and H2. And these two we've already created. So let's take a look at the magnitude plot. Here's the magnitude of H1 and here's the magnitude of H2. Well, H1 plus H2. So up until 1000, H2 is 0 dB whereas H1 rises up by 20 dB per decade. So the sum is 20 dB per decade up until 1000. After that point, H1 continues to rise up by 20 dB per decade, whereas H2 falls by the same rate. So the net effect is no change in the elevation for the red line. So it stays at 60 dB. So that is the magnitude plot for H. Now let's look at the angle for H. Black plot again is the angle for H1 and the blue plot is the angle for H2. The angle of H is the summation of these two. So up until this point, up until 100, omega equals 100, 0 plus 90 degrees gives me 90 degrees. After that, for the next two decades, so next two decades, H1 remains at 90 degrees. Whereas H2 falls by a total of negative 45 degrees per decade. So in two decades, it falls a total of 90 degrees. So fall a two over two decades, if it falls by negative 90 degrees, I'm back at zero. And then finally, H1 is 90 degrees for the final decade, whereas H2 is negative 90. So 90 plus minus 90 gives me zero dB. So the red line is now the angle plot for the overall edge. So this example shows you how to create a complex body plot using combinations of simpler body plots.